Overwatch's newest map, Petra, is packed full of easter eggs that reveal new elements of the game's lore, and tie together Petra, the ruins in Ilios, Ayutthaya, and the mysterious scientists who control Oasis, in an archaeological mystery that spans the globe. Let's start with this tablet. The first part discusses work being done here in Petra, which we'll return to in a moment because the second paragraph is far more interesting. It confirms for the first time that the archaeology being done in Ilios and in Thailand is being done by the same organisation, and they are also the ones doing the work here in Petra. It also talks about these sites being under threat, and when we're on the Ilios map, we hear this. Over the past week, Talon activity has been detected in the area. It is my belief that they are attempting to steal the newly unearthed artifacts from the temple ruins atop Ilios. So that probably implies that this is not the work of Talon, but rather some other organisation. So who could that be? Well, we get two names here, Dr Nakirion and H Faisal. And if we pop over here to this laptop, it seems to be a pretty safe bet that the H stands for Hamid, so Hamid Faisal. Now, these are new names within Overwatch's lore, but I have a theory on who at least one of them might be. The city of Oasis is run by eight ministers, and we currently know the names of five of them, so could Nakirian or perhaps Hamid be one of the remaining three? This isn't just a wild guess either, as there is a connection to Oasis. In the back of the Petra map, there are these droids, which can also be found in the Thailand site, and now we know that these dig sites are connected, and the only other place these robots exist is in Oasis. So perhaps one of the ministers of Oasis is the Minister of Archaeology, and he's spearheading these dig sites around the world. If I had to place a bet, I would say Dr Nakarion, as it sounds like he's in charge. Ok, so back to the tablet. The top part talks about a hidden treasure chamber, and then inside the ruins is another computer that also references a hidden chamber with a narrow opening. It's pretty likely that they're referring to this section of the map, where there is a narrow opening and plenty of treasure inside. This second computer also contains another email which is very interesting, and is talking about the excavation of the Greek ruins in Ilios. They talk about the statues of Hera, Athena, and Aphrodite being unearthed. Hera and Athena can be found in the ruined stage of the map, but Aphrodite is nowhere to be found. But a statue of her is located at Widowmaker's home, so could the message on the Overwatch ship imply that Talon actually stole an entire statue from Ilios just so that Widowmaker had something to put in her courtyard? Something interesting about these statues is that they're actually based on real works of art that are on display in a museum just a couple hours drive from Blizzard headquarters in California. The only one that looks different is Aphrodite, but that's probably because in the original sculptures she's a little underdressed. Back to Petra as we have even more to look at. There are two more names that I've not mentioned yet, Al Hamden on the computer with the emails and then Blaze on this bag. There isn't much context for these names, there are probably other people in the group, and there has been some speculation that Blaze could even be the name of the organisation, but there isn't really much to expand on, and we don't really have anything else to back this up. But we do have this new logo. This is presumably the logo of the group conducting the excavation, and this is the first time we've seen it, but we can break it down a little. The central part looks almost like the head of an arrow or spear, perhaps a reference to archaeology. It could even be a trowel. The second part looks like it's either a W, or perhaps at a stretch, two separate Vs. The style of the logo is pretty similar to the logos we've seen throughout Overwatch, but interestingly, it doesn't match the style of the logos found on the Oasis map. So perhaps this goes against the Oasis connection, or maybe this is a contractor group working for an Oasis minister. What do you think about all these new details in Overwatch's lore? Do you think it connects to Oasis, or is this a new group entirely? Did Talon steal the statue, or are they secretly funding these digs? Let me know your theories in the comments below. As always, this is James for Curse, saying thanks for watching, and enjoy the game.